kids families welcome to our preschool service july brings for all of us fun really cool stories and couple great events let me tell you about what we'll be learning on week one jesus still loves peter even though peter denies knowing him when someone asks about jesus on week two paul tells the people in athens about the god who made everything and how he gave us his son jesus Week 3, Paul tells the people in Rome that they can believe everything Jesus says because Jesus tells them the truth. And our last content on for week 4 is Jesus tells his disciples that he is going away to prepare a place for everyone who believes in him. This is going to be a great month full of excitements and surprises. For right now, let's go and dance together. excited about playing I Spy that she got some I Spy books out of the library for me. These books are filled with all kinds of things that God made. Let's try this one first. I Spy with My Little Eye. Something that God made that is red and juicy and starts with an S. Shout it out if you know. Yes, you're right. S is for strawberry. Can you pretend to eat a yummy strawberry? Pop it in your mouth. Now chew it up. That was mm, 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 good. Let's try another one. I spy with my little eye. 
something that God made that giggles and cries and sometimes smells and starts with a B. Shout it out if you know. Yes, you're right. B's for baby. Do you have a baby brother or sister? Babies are pretty awesome. Pretend to cry like a baby with me. Wah, wah. Okay, now show me your happy face again. Good job! And this one is full of animals that God made. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Spying animals, are you? Hi, Ollie. Sure am. Hey, you're an owl. Maybe you're in my animal book. I love spying all the things that God made. God made the world as a gift for you. And he gave something even more special. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, everyone. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out today's special. Ta-da! <laughs> I made I Spy Cupcakes in honor of the game we're playing. I can't wait to tell you today's true story from the Bible. It is so good! <laughs> if you're ready for a story, on the count of three, y'all tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story! <laughs> Our story is about a man named Paul. Paul believed in Jesus. He told everyone that Jesus is alive and wants to be their friend forever. One day, Paul went to a city called Athens. The people in Athens worshiped statues made of stone instead of believing in Jesus. Do you see a city? Help me look for it. I spy with my little eye a city. Paul looked around at all of the statues and he told the people, hey, you have a lot of statues, but you're missing something. You're not worshiping the one true God, the God who made everything. The people wanted Paul to tell them more. So he did. He told them how God made the whole world and everything in it. Do you see the world God made? Look with me. I spy with my little eye the world. <laughs> God made the world and everything in it, Paul said. He made the sky, water, moon, stars, sun, trees, flowers, birds, fish, animals. God made all of it. <laughs> the people were amazed and wanted Paul to tell them more. So he did. <laughs> Next, Paul told them how God made people. He told them how God made all people to know him. Do you see people? Look with me. I spy with my little eye. People! The people still wanted Paul to tell them more. So he did. Next, Paul told the people about Jesus. He told them that Jesus is God's son. Jesus is alive and wants to be their friend forever. When Paul was finished talking, some of the people believed in Jesus. It was amazing. The good news is everyone can believe in Jesus. That means you can believe in Jesus too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made the whole world for us, and then gave us Jesus too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, I love that Paul told all the people that God made everything and that he sent Jesus to be our friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you can say got it, get it? Good! I'm gonna spy more things that God made. See you.
see you guys next time. Bye! I spy my little eye. It is time to practice your memory verse, and it is the same as the month of June. So here we go, you should know it by now. These, These are, are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, from John 20, 31. We're going to do it again. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, from John 20, 31. You did great. I have an important question for you, a key question. Who can believe in Jesus? That's right, you can believe in Jesus. Remember, you can believe in Jesus. God loves everyone even when we make mistakes. When you make mistakes and you learn from them, that's a win. So don't worry, Jesus still loves you. Do you know who else love, loves you? Your parents love you, your family love you, your church family, like your small group leaders, and your friends and many people that are around you love you. Talking about your small group leaders, we are all wanting to see you for our next event. We are hosting our Eero Kids Ministry Market, where you can come, pick up a great meal or ingredients for a great meal, and cook with someone special. Also, we do have our Zoom calls every other Friday. For right now, stay tuned for our elementary service.